Hello friends, this video on force and pressure part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now the question is everywhere we talk about not only the magnitude of force that means how much force is being applied but we also talk about the direction like when you are playing football. Now the direction towards which you kick the ball is equally important, right? So when we talk about direction as well as magnitude. So force is a physical quantity that has both magnitude and direction. So what do we mean by magnitude? That means how much force is being applied. For example, if you have to move a box, now you have the same box. In the first scenario, you are applying small force. That means less amount of force. In the second scenario, you have again the same box, the same person, but here the person is applying more amount of force. So here if the less force is being applied, here more force is being. So that means in this case, magnitude is small. That means small amount of force is being applied. Now, force has magnitude. So now you understand what is magnitude, but it also has direction. Like in this case, if you see the person is pushing the box, that means he is trying to apply a force in this direction. So if he applies sufficient force, then the box will move in this direction. Similarly, here also force is being applied in this direction. So let us look at these examples. So here also you see in this scenario the person is lifting the box and he is moving. In this case the person is trying to push the box in this direction. In this case the person is trying to push the box in this direction. So everywhere you have a particular direction in which the force is being applied. So it is not only magnitude which is important that is how much force is being applied that is important but besides that direction is equally important. Now what will happen if multiple forces are applied on a body in the same direction? Let us suppose you have this huge box and th there is this person A who is applying a force in this direction. So let us suppose that this person A is applying a force say F1 of 10, 10 is the magnitude of the force and Newton is the unit in which force is measured. For example, in order to measure mass, we use kg, right? When you go to a shop to buy potatoes, you say that I need 10 kgs potato. So kg is nothing but the reference or the unit of measurement. So similarly, when you go to buy milk, you talk in terms of liters. Similarly, when we talk about force, we talk in terms of Newton. So let us suppose this person A applies a force of 10 Newton on this box. Now let us suppose that there is another person who is also pushing the box to in the same direction. So he is also trying to apply a force in this direction. And what is the force that he is applying? Let us say the magnitude of the force is 20 Newton. So this person B is applying greater force when compared to person A. Now in this case, what will be the total force that is being applied on this box by A and B? So the net force in this case will be F1 plus F2. So the net force acting on the box will be equal to F1 plus F2. So that will be equal to 10 plus 20 that is equal to 30 Newtons. So this is the total force that is acting on this box. So we say that forces applied in the same direction get added up. Now in this case we added both of them because they, both of these are applied in the same direction. Now what will happen if they are applied in opposite direction? So in this case let's see what happens. Again let us suppose this is person A and he is applying a force in this direction. So he is actually trying to push the box in this particular direction. And let us say that F1 is equal to 10 Newton. Now this time let us suppose person B is not on the same side, instead he is on the other side of the box and he is trying to push the box in this direction. So he is applying a force in this direction and the magnitude of this force is 20 Newtons. Now in this case what will happen? Now when A is applying a force on the box, the box will tend to move a little bit in this direction but at the same time somebody else is applying a force in this direction. So 
So even though, now how do we know how the box will move? So the box will move as per the greater force. Now here in this case, F1 is a smaller force, but F2 is a greater force. So obviously F2 will dominate and therefore the box will move finally in this particular direction. And what would be the net force that is acting on this box? So the net force acting on this box will be equal to F1 minus F2 because they both are in opposite direction. So they both get compensated. So the net force is the difference between forces applied in opposite direction. That's because whatever force is being applied in this direction, they get, that get compensated by an equal and opposite force. Correct. So here F1 is 10 Newton and F2 is 20 Newton. So which is greater? F2. So that means the box will move in the direction of F2. So F2 is in this direction. So the box will also move in this direction. And the net force would be equal to 10 minus 20, which is equal to minus 10 Newton. So what does this minus sign indicates? So this minus sign indicates that the box will be moving in this particular direction. So, and the net force acting on the object is 10 Newtons. So, now you understand what happens if forces are applied in the same direction or in opposite directions. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.